Hello friends, welcome back. It's me again, Banu Chandra, the writer of Stuff You Look blog. In this tutorial, I'm gonna discuss about preliminary and initial tips for seed exam design part and how to prepare for it. This tutorial might also help the professional designers on improving their design ability. Well, let us now see the content of this tutorial. We will be discussing about observation and problem identification role in design part of exam tips to improve creativity and how it helps in seed exam, importance of sketching and rendering in the exam, my own fast method of improving perspective sketching skills, some other checklists that would help you with uh, design practice. So in this post, I'm going to cover all the above 5 issues, giving necessary suggestions from my end uh, for your smooth flow of practice. Well, to be precise, design thinking power cannot be attained overnight. And if you think like, hey, I will, imp I will prepare for seed design part before the exam and that's more than enough. Something like this and I can say you are moving in the wrong direction. It requires practice and involvement from the very beginning. Let us now discuss the first topic of this video, observation and problem identification. Before diving into the actual topic, let's go through some fun introductory exercises that will make you understand the importance of observation. Well, this is a picture of mine with my colleague taken in Delhi. Now carefully observe the picture for a minute because I am going to ask you some questions from it. Countdown starts. Ready now? Answer the questions. So what is the color of the hat that I am wearing in the picture? And what is the color of the water bottle that my colleague is carrying? Got it? Now check your answers in the picture. So I was wearing a green hat and my colleague was holding a bottle of magneta color. I mean rose color. Agree? Now let's try one more question. Let me see how we have improved. The picture shows a Delhi metro platform. Now carefully observe this scenario. Ready again? Well, let's see the question. So what is the platform number in the picture? And what is displayed in Hindi on train? Okay, check the answers in the picture. The platform number is 4 and Kendriya was displayed in Hindi on train. Right to the picture. Got it? Okay. Very interesting, right? Now be frank, do you actually answer these questions in both the exercises at first instance? If yes, then you are good observer, uh, observer, I mean. No, then you need to start doing the same, because observation skill is one most important requirement for a designer and of course for a seed aspirant. If you check for the previous uh, seed papers, then questions like identify the problems in college canteen, etc. And uh, similar questions usually appear and uh, what you need is to observe the given scenario, okay? Well, observation is not meant only for photography. It may be concerned to almost all kinds of problems, some of them being analyzing a given situation, understanding the given question, understanding the requirement, planning to do a thing, observe, observing for advantages and disadvantages, and uh, more to mention, in all the above situations, your presence and observation is required. See, test your knowledge in creativity and innovation. Now, what does it mean by creation and uh, creativity and innovation? It's your ability to develop an all new idea or modify the existing idea based on the requirements or demands of the users or of your own identification. Unless you know about the existing idea, you cannot develop an alternative solution for that. At least it's very difficult and time taking. This is where your observation skill helps you. You are, uh, you are required to be keen and observe things that would be any of the following. Surroundings like things, environment, people, ongoings, products, mechanisms, product functions, for what they are used, any faults and shortcomings, and even observe people, their attitude, behavior and interests. Uh, start analyzing and you will find some interesting facts as well. Trust me, this will... Uh, prove to be fun and uh, help you improve your creative thinking skills. I will create this with an example. In your student life, you might have used hundreds of pen. But did you ever thought about the, the material of the pen, its shape, diameter and so on? Did you ever thought on how a pen would be used in many other alternative ways? Did you ever compare any two pens? No? Okay, small things appear silly but actually they might be helping you. Keep an eye on your environment and develop the hobby of exposing more to new things. Clear? Did you notice one thing? I combined observation and problem identification under a single heading. 
I have many reasons for clubbing. When you start observing things, you will come to know some problems as well as alternatives. In fact, you need to identify the problem. Problem identification is one important tool for a designer who desires sketching. Every product will undergo uh, frequent changes in design, usability and functionality, right? I mean, reg they regularly upgrade. Now, do you think this happens because the companies get negative feedback from the customers? It's not like that. The companies, uh, um, the companies look for problems and developments by analyzing the users. Even the seed examiners ex expect the same from you. So be a problem generator as well as a solver. Uh, for example, you take day-to-day -day thing, say a water bottle, identify or generate problems associated with it, um, make a list and develop a new concept for this. You can do this for simple, simple objects. Okay. Next, we will see the role Im and importance of creativity for seed exam preparation. Creativity may not be educated. One cannot force you to create, but the fact is, everyone is creative by birth. Uh, unknowingly, you did many creative works during your child days. You have been doing creative thoughts throughout your education and you will be developing the thoughts in the future also. The, bi the big thing is, you need to wake it up. Wake the creator in you as it is the right time to do so. It can be improved by finding faults in the current or existing designs, passions that drives you to innovate or create in your interested subjects exposure to as many situations as possible and going through or analyzing others works and ideas take risks don't fear for failure don't mind whether the world is laughing at you your inner thoughts i mean positivity and confidence mental exercises in the form of mind games puzzles pattern solving comparative comparing similar things for any differences making or going to creative crafts artworks and do it yourself works are all some good exercises. The above list are only few to mention and there are many other awesome ways of improving creativity and lateral development. I will be discussing about the coming uh, about creativity in the coming videos. For now understand that creativity plays a major role in seed design part preparation. Okay? Design definitely should be a passion for you. Just for doing some degree or to choose some career path, you cannot choose design. That won't seem to be successful because a good number of awesome designers are out there competing with you. Think like a child, strange but very true. Children seem to be more creative than adults. Do you know why? Because most of the time they raise the question why, that we don't do it. During your child days you might have done that, but not now. So for every small thing raise the questions why like this, why can't be like that. In that way you can bring back your creative skills. Let's now discuss everything about sketching and drawing work for seed exam. How much, uh, how important it is. By now you should understood uh, that uh, why I put the sketching topic as a thought discussion instead of first? The very first focus of a designer is to develop the concept or idea. Next only comes the way to express or communicate it. Without a proper concept, you cannot start sketching. For this reason only, the idea part has been discussed first. Well, note that not all artists are designers, but almost all the designers are good artists. It's not like you can neglect ever sketching. Uh, your design process is complete only when you showcase the same through proper channel. Sketching is the process of uh, uh, showing your overall expression, concept or design. It even shows your talent. Drawing is a form of visual communication and you may be aware that uh, which is the most powerful form of delivering ideas. A simple narrow sketch with only pencil shares is recommended. Immense detailing is not recommended. Uh, you need not use expert uh, drawing techniques like oil painting and other coloring techniques. This of course take a lot of time and you will be struck with a single question without attempting others. Time is a major factor during seed exam and you are required to draw all your sketching works in that constrained time. So even for um, the examiner you simply expects your ideas to be rightly communicated and mostly not impressed by your coloring. Okay? There are different views of drawing. Of the all, perceptive drawing is the most natural one. You should be good at perceptive drawing with pencils and pens. Although I never recommended going for detailed shading and uh, details of the sketches, still then it's always important to learn shading techniques. You cannot neglect that completely. You must learn pencil shading of objects on different surfaces, I mean materials. Okay, note that in your question paper, lots of space will be given for rough work. Utilize this space and showcase your sketching process in a rough way. 
Rough sketches that details, construction, explored views, etc. are always preferred, especially for 50 marks design question and seed. Remember that the examiner is interested in your stages of design process and he might be going through it. Well, let me give you a strategy on uh, how to improve your sketching skills in a faster phase. The method that I developed based on my own experience. Take a look at the picture that was taken near our office. Now that seems like an ordinary view, right? But to my eyes, I visualize the scene by way of converging lines that make up to a perspective sketch. That definitely made my sketching practice easier. Here goes one more picture to support my concept. I started looking everything in a perspective style. Wherever I go, whenever I travel by bike or car, wherever I sit, uh, I mean idle in a room or office, I observe things, scenes and even individual objects in a perspective manner as discussed. This is definitely improving my visualization skills and I hope uh, this will even reduce time to uh, learn and practice sketching. Uh, here goes one more picture. Give a try and observe everything in perspective. Do this kind of uh, do this kind of mental exercises wherever you are, say traveling in bus and so on. You will understand the difference within two or three days. You can also make a habit of drawing whatever you see. Okay. Let us now discuss the last topic of this video. Some checklists that would directly help you with the design part of seed practice. The first and foremost important part is social media networks. They are the base for knowledge sharing. Social networking acts as a platform for this type of rules. Following and knowing them, I mean designers will help you expose to various design aspects, alternatives, concepts and also lets you identify your position and role as a design graduate. Uh, some of my favorite websites being Pininterest, Flickr, Behance, DeviantArt, and so on. Framing a story, story, I mean story, is not an easy task as you think, and is also a very good exercise for lateral thinking. So practice them from the very beginning. Comic strips are very fun, yet great way of expressing a story. It reveals your creative thinking. So go through and make your own comic strips. Illusions and patterns are some of the best tools that would directly help you with your observing and uh, analyzing power. Try analyzing some illusions and patterns that I have included in my blog. Copycat? Funny right? Well, what I mean is copy the ideas, strange, but let me tell you that ideas are grouped by exposing to other ideas or similar concepts. So be a copycat. Copy the ideas and make, your, uh, make way to your own new ideas by finding the mistakes in that copied ideas. Uh, social networking helps with you that okay tr trust me gaming um, uh, keeping your mind engaged with some mind and video games will help you develop alternative thought approach so gaming also helps you with uh, uh, problem solving skills be it is physical game or video games ultimately it's the end user whom are going to enjoy your designed product be like a psychologist understand uh, users necessity expectation demand and trends um, think yourself as a user and list what you expect from that product and what you don't want to be included in the product whenever you uh, practice sketching. Okay. Finally, I would like to wrap this section by giving some quick thumb rules. Observe everything and improve thinking. Identify the problems that persist and uh, whatever you see and whatever you cross. If possible, assume or create problems. Improve on practice creativity and lateral thinking. Practice for seed with full passion. Improve basic sketching and rendering skills. Limiting yourself to seed exam level, I mean. Uh, learn isometric drawing and different views of sketching. Always ask the question why, why so, to evaluate new ideas. Well, these are the points that I wish you to discuss with you for your smooth seed practice. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment below regarding your views or suggestions about this video. All the very best with your practice.